so yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Lois Maine. Lois Maine. I love that. Lois Maine. Mrs. Lois Maine. Mrs. Eddie Maine. <laughs> Lois Maine. Hello. Sorry to drop in unannounced. Oh, well, we gave our butler the day off. What can I do for you? Nothing special. Just wanted to see what you were up to. I've never seen a real recording studio in progress. Do you mind if I look around? Well, I guess you have the right seeing as how we're camped out on your property. You married the oldest grandson, right? That's right. <sighs> well, best wishes and all that. Same to you. Oh, yeah? You heard about me and my Eddie? Mmm. Word travels fast in Port Charles. This Eddie must be quite a guy. The mere mention of his name. Son, get up. What? Get up, it's urgent. So is this. No, I'm serious. I have to get low with out of there. What is up? Oh, my. Yo, Eddie makes me very happy. Although I'm a little puzzled at the intensity of your curiosity. I should think it would be obvious. To whom? To me, of course. I think it would be terribly awkward around here if you were still interested in my husband. Whoa. Back up a minute interested in your husband? Don't pretend to be shocked. I'm not pretending to be anything. Look, let's make something perfectly clear here. Nothing personal, but I couldn't care less about your husband. Why would you even approach me about something like that? I was under the impression that the two of you were Fairly close. <laughs> Did I wander into somebody else's movie here suddenly because I'm a little confused? Catherine! <sighs> Look who's here. Uh, you know what? We need you in the studio right away. There's an emergency. Does this have something to do with that big noise I heard? Uh, it's, it's the soundboard. We might have to find another place to put it. What are you, nuts? I already made all of the measurements. There's only one place in that entire room that's wide enough for it to go. I know, I know, but Sonny and I were looking over specs, and the width of the board is larger than the space we've allowed for it. Brenda, this is a disaster. Those things are custom-made. If it doesn't fit, then not only are we out a ton of money, but it's going to take another two weeks to get another one in there. I was planning to be out with the truck. You better get in there. there. <sighs> Sorry. I, we're really busy around here. Uh, you can show yourself out, right? something I can help you out with? I didn't know there was anybody here. Yeah, I can see that. I'm Sonny Corinthos. You must be Catherine. How in the world would you know? I've heard your name tossed around a few times. I can't imagine where. Why? Because you and I don't travel in the same circles. Well, that is certainly something to consider. What do you think gives you the right to look down on me? Because you conned some rich slob into giving you his family name? Well, let me tell you something, sweetheart. Broads like you are a dime a dozen. They always seem to end up right back where they started. You know why? Because they can't get the difference between money and power. I don't have to listen to this. No, 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 no. Force yourself. Stay a minute. You might learn something. Money is paper, not power. You can have it today and lose it tomorrow. Power starts right here and lives right here. You have to be smart to obtain it and have a certain confidence and generosity of spirit to maintain it. Power is quiet. When you have it, there's no reason to announce it because people know it when they see it. You know what I see when I look at you? 
I see a woman wearing clothes you probably paid too much for. And she's powerless. I'm willing to bet we'll be seeing each other. This looks like a table full of high spirits. Oh. There he is. Uh, Luke, meet my friend, Lois. Hey, nice to meet you. My pleasure. It's a very high-spirited table. Our new singer debuts his band tonight. Yeah, I heard something about that. Congratulations on your new gig. Thanks, man. You're looking at the new Sonny Corinthos, Mr. Legit, man. <laughs> Are you going to stay for the show? I wouldn't miss it. Good. It's showtime. All right, tell Miguel to rock. I will. Miguel is going to rip this place apart. Do you want to know how I can tell? No, but I'd be fascinated to hear about it. Just, just look at him. I mean, he's pacing back and forth, and I think that's a really good sign. It means he has all this energy just bursting inside of him. <laughs> ah, I love this business. Well, let's not get carried away here, Brenda. You know, you lose your objectivity. I mean, Miguel's good, but he needs work, you know? I mean, for example, his image is all wrong. His image? He's... he's beautiful. His hair's too long. His hair's gotta go. Would you land, please? I'd like to give you a pre-show pep talk. Uh, I won't even hear it. I I'm too nervous. You're gonna be fabulous. Did you go over the vocals with the guys in the back room? That's all we did all night. Vocals. Vocals. Hey, Today. hey, hey! You're not losing your voice, are you? Of course not. No, it's, no. Okay. You're gonna be fabulous. Let's just get it over with, please. Miguel, this is not an execution. It's a performance, okay? Mwah. That is for luck. You're gonna be great. <sighs> is this on? Uh, yeah, hi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Miguel Morez. Since I fell for you Since I fell 